Hello out there to all you catsters. This is me, Dr. Lukman, welcoming you back to our YouTube channel. And of course, today I will be continuing with our upcoming nutrition series. To proceed with our series, we are going to discuss nutrients. And we're going to start with one often really underestimated, but it is extremely important. In fact, it is the most important nutrient. And interestingly, it provides no energy whatsoever, yet it is absolutely crucial for life. That nutrient is water. Now, water is often overlooked when pet owners think about their cat's nutrition. Most pet owners are actually really well aware that their cats are obligate carnivores. They need good quality protein, good quality fats, etc. in their diet, but they fail to recognize the importance of water. At the same time, many pet owners are often worried about their pet cats not drinking enough water. They try to get their pets better hydrated by using water fountains. They try to use top-ups on foods like food toppers in the form of gravies or broths. They try to switch to canned diets or fresh diets, which do contain more moisture in hopes that they are meeting their cat's hydration requirements. But there's always a sense of worry there. First of all, I'd like to remind you that such a sense of worry is absolutely normal. After all, you do care about your pet's well-being, so it's natural for you to worry if they are getting enough water because every living being needs water and our cats are no exception. Cats actually take in water through several ways. The first is obviously by drinking water. The second is inside your cat's body, there are many metabolic processes that happen all the time. And some of these metabolic processes result in the formation of water as a byproduct. Finally, the food your cat eats contains moisture most of the time. Even dry foods do contain some moisture. And this moisture obviously adds towards your cat's daily water quota. Now, interestingly, there are formulas out there which can determine how much water your cat needs on a daily basis. But because water is so essential for all cats and all living beings, the prevailing advice is to offer your cat water ad libitum. This basically means you let them have access to water at all times, 24 seven, 365. And your cat will basically drink whenever they feel thirsty to ensure that they are well hydrated. However, cats being cats are experts at making their owners worry and making their owners think if they are drinking enough. There are ways you can check your cat's hydration status at home if you'd like. Now, to help me express the ways in which you can check your cat's hydration status at home is Dr. Karen, who you might have seen on our channel for other videos. So for now, I'll be passing it over to Dr. Karen. She is going to demonstrate quick and easy ways you can check your cat's hydration status at home as pet owners today. Hi there, I'm Dr. Karen and this is Clutch. We're here to give you a quick demonstration on how you can very quickly and easily check your cat's hydration status at home. So one of the easiest things to do is checking their skin tent, which sounds a bit odd, but it's very, very simple. In a normal hydrated cat like Clutch's, that skin should just pop straight back to where it was. So you don't need to lift it up too hard or too high, just pick it up by the fur and watch it drop back. So if he were to be a bit dehydrated, that might be a little bit slow about dropping back. If he was really dehydrated, when I picked that up, it might stay exactly where I picked it up. That's a huge worry, and that's time to get in touch with your vet urgently. If there's a little bit of a delay, then it is a sign that yeah, we're getting a little bit dehydrated and depending on what else is going on, it's probably worth a check up with the vet. So there's another couple of things that you can be watching for as signs of dehydration. One is having a look at their eyes. Now, normally there's no gap between their eyeball and the eyelids. If they are dehydrated, you might notice a little bit of a gap between the eyeball and the eyelid, or the eye itself might appear a little bit sunken inside the socket. Again, that's a sign that we've got some fairly serious dehydration. Another couple of things that we'll want to have a check of. Clutch is not going to be my best demonstrator for this, so I'll grab another. <laughs> Fortunately, I've got plenty of uh, volunteers on hand. So similarly, I'm just going to quickly show you on Cyril that skin tend to check again. Beautiful, pops back very, very quickly. And again, let's have a little look at his eyes. Beautiful. 
So the other thing I'm going to show you is having a look and a feel of their gums. So the feel in the gums is easy. You don't need to manipulate the mouth at all. You just pop a finger underneath the lip and have a little rub. Now that should feel moist, totally normal. If that's feeling like it's a bit dry or tacky, again, that's a sign of dehydration. And one other thing we can look at, and this is helpful for dehydration, but also things like if we have low blood pressure or if we are worried about bleeding somewhere. And that's our gum color, but our capillary refill. And that's something we can check by lifting up that lip. Now that should be a nice pink color. In cats, it tends to be a paler pink than in dogs. So that's something to be aware of. It's sort of a very pale salmon pink. And you'll notice that in different places, he looks a little bit paler there, but that's on the lip and that's not all. So to check capillary refill, what we do is you push against that gum. Now that should blanch, but then the color comes back within one to two seconds. If that is not blanching and it's pale, that can be a sign that we've actually got very low blood pressure or that we've bled somewhere. If it's taking more than two seconds, the average cat's gonna take one second really. That's another sign that we've got a problem and it could be dehydration or it could be low blood pressure or it could be a bleed. So they're all signs that we need to be watching out for. And if you see any issues with that, it's time to phone the vet. Thank you, Dr. Karen, for that lovely demonstration. By now, you're all extremely well aware on how to check your cat's hydration status at home. So the key takeaways about water are, water is extremely essential for your cat. Your cat needs water on a daily basis. There are several ways your cat gets water on a daily basis. And there are ways for you to check at home if your cat is well hydrated. And because water is so essential for life, the prevailing advice is to let go of any formulas or calculations and just offer your pet cat water ad libitum, unless you're instructed by your veterinarian to do otherwise for a very specific scenario or case. For now, this is me, Dr. Lukman, signing off, wishing you all a very lovely week ahead. I'll catch you on the next series. Till then, keep it your head, Catster. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to comment. And of course, please don't forget to leave us a like. Bye, guys.